hello and welcome to this session on how to use properties file today we are going to learn what is a property file we will create a properties file we will get and set data to a properties file and then we will run our selenium test using this property file and we will also look at some useful tips so properties file in very simple language is any file that has dot properties extension and in java and related technologies we use properties file to store our configurations and we store our configuration as key value pairs so now let us look at how do we create a properties file so we can create any file inside our java project and name it with dot properties extension let us do it i am going to my eclipse and this is the project that we have been creating in our earlier sessions and we will create a properties file here so what I will do is I will create a separate package I am going to my src package new create a new package and I will name it as config and finish and inside this config package now I will create a file right click new file in case you do not get this option here you can go to others and then select file and here I will name it as config.properties so this will become a properties file now and click on finish and now you can see this file has been created and now I can give my configurations here for example I want to make browser equals Firefox this is one of my configurations so this is how I will give it and this is how we create a properties file let us look at how do we get data from a properties file in four easy step step number one is we have to create an object for the properties class so let us do that and I will go inside my package and create a new class I am creating a new class and I will name it as properties file click on finish and this is my new class here I can create functions so I will create a function to read properties file public static void read properties file and now here I can create an object for properties class properties any variable name prop is equals to new properties so it will also import this java util properties in case you get any error you can hover over it and then import this java util properties so now step number two is we have to create an object for the input stream so to do, do that we will create input stream input equals to new file input stream and if I press control plus spacebar on my keyboard I am getting all these options so this is what I have to use from java.io file input stream and here I have to give the location of my configuration file so to do do that we can go to our config file do a right click go to properties and here you will get the location of your file so copy it from here and I will just paste it inside this okay but if you see still you are getting some error and if you hover over it it is saying unhandled exception so either you have to add a throws declaration by clicking here or surround it with try, try catch so we will surround it with try catch just click here and it has already created this try catch block so you can just uh, put your statements inside this try catch block okay now the third step is we have to load the properties file using the load function so we will say prop dot load and we have to give the input stream so we have used input here and this statement will make our configuration or the properties file available to our java program okay so it is again uh, giving us an exception that either we have to uh, have an have a throws declaration or try catch but we already have a try catch so what we can do is make our exception as generic so just put exception here and it will catch all the possible exceptions that's it and then we have to get our properties using the function get property so now we can say prop dot get 
property and we have to use the key so I want to get the property browser from my properties file so it should get this browser property which is the value is Firefox and to ensure I am getting the right property I will print it out on the console using system.out.println so let us see if this prints out Firefox on our console or not and to call this function I will use a main control spacebar it will give you the option for main and here I will call this function read properties file so now I can do a right click run as Java application uh, there is some error so let us see see file not found exception so we have given some error in our see there is some error we have not given the uh, name properly so this is properties so now it should pass I am doing a right click again run as Java application save it and yes now it is running fine and we are getting the value Firefox from our properties file so this is how we can get data from properties file let us also learn how do we set data in to a properties file in four easy steps again we have to create an object for properties so I will create a new function now let me go down and create a new function for this and I will say public static void write properties file and this is the new function and again I have to do the same thing properties prop equals to new properties so what I can do is I can cut it from here and put it at the global class level make it a class variable I can also make it static and now this should be available to all the functions so now again I do not have to write it inside this function I can directly use it second step is we have to create an object for output stream so let us do that output stream output equals new file output stream and we have to give the location of our file again so I will copy this again from here and paste it inside this okay and if you are getting these errors hover over it and you can select or import this java.io output stream okay and again you are getting this exception to add try catch or add a throws declaration so again I will add a try catch surround it with try catch here surround with try catch and even let us make, make the exception as generic okay so the third step now is we have to set the values using the function set property so I will say prop dot set property and we have to give the key value so let me say uh, browser equals chrome so this should set the value for browser as chrome so let us run that and before that we have also to uh, store the property by using the method store so I will say prop dot store and this is the output stream so we will give output stream here and you can give any comments if you want to or you can give it as null if you don't want to give any comments okay and we can run it now and to run it we again have to call it from the main method so I will say here write properties file and see first it is reading the property file and it should print Firefox and then it should write to a properties file and to ensure that it has uh, written Chrome I will call this read again as a third method so now let me run this run as Java application and now you can see it is first uh, reading Firefox and then it is writing Chrome and then reading Chrome from there and we can also go to the properties file and see it has written Chrome here right and you can actually even write any new parameter also so if in case you want to write prop dot set property I want to put result as pass I don't want to put this result as pass 
so now I will run it again I do not want to read it again I just want to run this run as Java application and now you will see it has put result as pass here okay so this is how you write or set to a properties file now the actual thing we have to run our selenium test using this properties file and we will set the browser into our properties file and not into our command and how do we do that let us go to our original function that we have been writing so I am going to this first selenium test the class that we have been using in the last session we have made the code modular by using these functions set browser set browser config and run test so now I am going to comment this set browser function and we are going to set the browser from our config file which is this one right so what I have to do is I am reading the value of the browser here but now I have to set this value inside my first selenium test and inside this browser variable so for that what I can do is I will say I will call the uh, variable through the class name my class name is first selenium test dot and now I can call the variables and the methods but you can see it is showing me a run test set browser and other functions but it, it is not showing me the browser variable and to do that I have to make it as public so let me make this browser as public and now it should be available here so now if I say first selenium test dot you can see the browser is being shown here I will say browser and I have to set it from the properties so I will copy this prop dot get property browser and this should be set inside this browser variable of first selenium test class and to validate it I will also print it out on the console this value so that I know this has been set successfully and this should set the property of the browser to whatever we have given inside this browser config okay and now we have to call it from here so instead of set browser now I will call the properties class properties file class so properties file and inside the properties file I will call the function read properties file so it will set the browser then I will set the browser configurations accordingly I will run my test and this all we have done in the earlier session so in case you have not watched the earlier session please go and watch the earlier session and at the end I also want to write to the properties file so I will say properties file dot write to properties file okay and I am going to uh, remove this so that I know it is written from my function from my program and now I will do a right click I will do run as Java application and let us see the browser is Chrome so it is now starting our test on a Chrome browser and it is now finished so this is successful let us also validate with Firefox so and see it has written the result as well so now I will say browser as Firefox and I am not going to make any change inside the program the only change I am making is inside the config file and I will again do a right click run as Java application and you can see the browser now is Firefox so the test is now being run on a Firefox browser okay so this is how we use properties file to run our test let us look at some useful tips so you should always put comments in your properties file it will be very helpful to make your properties file and your configurations understandable to others so if you go to your properties file or your config file you can give a hash and then write anything so I can say this parameter sets the browser for the test or you can also write comments by giving exclamation mark and any statement so you should always use this and here is a wikipedia website and if you go here they have explained the properties file very in a very simple manner and it is also saying that you can put your uh, the parameters as in all these formats you can say key equals value key space equals space values key colon value and you can also say key space values so this is very useful please do read it let us do a very quick recap 
today we learned what's a properties file how do we create a property file we learned how do we get and set data to a properties file and we ran our selenium test using a properties file i hope this session was very useful to you in case you have any doubts or any questions please do write them down in the comments and i will try to uh, answer them as soon as i can i will meet you in the next session thanks for watching